Uh, yesterday I pulled out this hay conditioner. Not pulled it out, but got it on the rock. Uh, today I'm going to go through. We're going to unfold it. So right now it's in transport position. I'm going to walk around here let you guys see it. So it is folded in ways to go down the road. I got it hooked up to the skid steer still. So the only step, I'm gonna be lifting this in with the skid steer. It has a jack, you would you'd be using the jack if you're hooking up to a tractor. So you don't have to have two pieces of equipment to do it. I just have it here because that's what I used to pull it out. The first step is unhook this from the tractor, have this on the jack. Then we'll drop this jack down, jack this end up, take this wheel off, and we can go ahead and rotate this tunnel on out here to a field position. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this jack down. I'm going to get a few blocks so I don't have to extend so far down. Put this jack down, get this wheel off, we'll raise the other end up, and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, we've got it jacked up. This wheel is off the ground. Now what we're going to do is Pull this pin right here, and we'll slide this shaft out. Here is what it looks like. Pull the pin, got the shaft almost out, just got it hanging there so we're gonna see what it looks like. Now, I can do this one handed. There it goes. Okay, now we'll take this to the other side. All right, we got it started. Now, we'll slide this in. I left my pin over there. Gotta put that pin in there. Now we'll swing the tongue. And we can go ahead and hook up the PTO shaft at this point. It is just like the attachment on your tractor PTO. Push in your keeper here comes off this bolt and you put it right here on your 540 shaft and that part is done. Then you come over here and you would let your jack down put the weight onto this wheel which I'm going to do with the skid steer and we'll let that down which this would already be unhooked from a tractor but we'll let this jack down all the way and we'll get the tongue slid in. Part's done. You can see right here's the pin you pull to rotate the jack on the shaft. This is the pin you pull to slide the shaft in and out. We'll go around to this side, and now is when you rotate this wheel here. You need no tools, no jack, no pry bar. You just pull this pin here, rotate the wheel. So there's very little weight on this. In fact, so little weight that I can actually pick up on this and pick that wheel completely off the ground. And the reason for that is because now that we have weight on this wheel here, which is back here far enough, and you got the weight on the jack, it basically creates a straight line across here. And everything from here forward is working to take weight off of this right back here. Now, whenever you have a hook to the tractor, you hook this up to the tongue and you let this down, that puts a lot more weight on this wheel. The individual that I bought this from got rid of it because he hated folding it up. 
and he couldn't get through his gates. So I got it. Uh, and, you know, he had a four foot pry bar to turn this wheel here and he said it never worked out and said it always took him an hour or more to fold it up. I can fold this up. It took longer now because it's been sitting, but if you're using it, I can fold this up in 10 to 15 minutes, which, you know, you still have to unhook it from the tractor and all that stuff, but it's not terrible. Uh, but again, sequence of operation is extremely important in folding this up. You do something out of, out of sequence, you basically have to put it right back where you started and go in the correct sequence. It's ready to hook up to the tractor now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can run this thing. And then when I bring you back, we're gonna actually fold it back up so you can see that proper sequence. And there's one thing that I haven't showed you yet. And I don't have a hydraulic cylinder, so I can't really do it, but I'm gonna show you what, what, what okay, happens. Okay, so the last step you do is once you get it hooked back up to the tractor, you'll raise this up, take the, the transport lock out, let the conditioner down on the ground, and that will let the head float up off the frame. Whenever you do that, there's a stop. This piece right here, you will pull this pin, and this piece here will rotate up, and there's another hole in it right there. And whenever you do that, that'll get this up so this head can float more. If you try to cut with it like this, it will not cut right. Because it will not allow it to float properly. Okay, and you'll see some high spots. So there's one there. And there's one here. You can see it from here. Okay? Now, probably even more important is putting those down is the very first first step you do before you do anything else to fold this thing up if you do not do that step you will not be able to go down the road with it in order to lock those up you need to let the thing down on the ground that picks that header up off the frame you drop those down and then you raise it up and lock it up and unhook it from the tractor if you do not do that I don't want to tell you you have to go back and do it that step is number one whenever you fold it back up is the last step when you unfold it in the field uh, it is the first step that you need to do whenever you get done at a field and you're wanting to go down the road and you want to tr put it in transport mode. So, remember that. I got a guy that's said he's coming today to buy this old hay conditioner here. I gotta get it folded up anyways. I'm gonna take some footage of that. So we just unfolded it for field cut mode. Okay. Now let's say we've cut and now we are got to fold it back up to take it down the road. All right. The very first step you want to do, I know I mentioned this already, but we're going to mention it again. Before you unhook it from the tractor, so we still got it hooked up, still got our hydraulics hooked up. We're going to before we lock this up, we're going to let it down on the ground. And whenever you let it down on the ground, what that does is that allows this head to float up and it comes off the axle. Okay, this is already done here. But whenever you uh, are mowing, the, this shoe here will be folded up. And that will actually allow this head to drop about four inches down lower. So if this is in that condition you cannot fold this thing up once you're done doing that you take the hydraulics you lift it up you put it in transport mode lock it up then unhook it from the tractor so you jack this up unhook it from the tractor and now the next step we're going to do is before we even get too carried away here i like to do you can go ahead and fold the tongue if you want to but what i like to do first after i do this here, first thing it's done from unhooking from the tractor is I'll pull this pin and I'll rotate this tire, this wheel. Now you don't need any tools to do this. Next, we're going to disconnect the PTO shaft and we're going to swing the tongue over. Now, there is a holder here 
that's where your PTO shaft goes. All right, guys, there's actually two pins here. This top pin, you don't pull it out whenever you're in the field. That keeps you from going too far whenever you swing it either direction. So this is basically like the field pin, the lower one, and this here's the transport pin. We're going to pull this pin right here. That's gonna allow this tongue to swing out. And we'll rotate it to where this is down. And then we'll pull this pin on the jack and rotate it so we can jack it up. And you pull this pin, give her a tug. So there's the hole. Put that pin back in. Yes, yeah, so you say, well, how in the world are you supposed to use that jack? Well, that's easy. It's got a pin right here. Should have a pin. Mine has a bolt that I had drilled a hole in to use as a pin. <laughs> Pull that out. Rotate that up. Now we're going to drop the jack down. Jack this puppy up. Pull that wheel off. Jacked up. Proof. Okay, now we're gonna pull this pin. We'll slide this wheel off here. Pull it like so on it, like this. Of course, I say like this. It's hard to do one handed. We'll slide out. So then we wheel it over here. One-handed, but you gotta hold the camera. The struggles of being a YouTuber. Picked up now. I'm gonna see if this thing will slide in there. All the way in. So I'm gonna put this pin in here. That'll hold it. Now we let this jack down, and it's ready for a transport mode. And that is how you fold up a 495 New Holland Haybine. So, do one last check. Uh, I usually tie this up. We're good here. All right. One thing I don't remember if I mentioned, the bracket that this wheel pins onto is held on by some pins to the tongue. So whenever you swing this thing out and you're ready for field mode, um, it won't really hurt for that. It just depends on how high your tractor is and everything. Whenever you let this thing down, that thing is pretty low. So you could drag hay with it, or if you went through a little bit of a ditch, you could drag the ground with it. So they've got this bracket right here and you just unpin it from there and you set it up here. You can kind of see where it's been sitting set it up here and pin it on there and then it's out of the way this machine this was in some of my earlier videos when i first started making videos uh they weren't very good videos not th not that they're any better now but i try to get more footage rather than just a one minute video or run it or whatever but uh <clears throat> i've had this for several years now and really the only reason i'm really getting rid of it is i got a disc mine and i don't have the storage i mean i got other stuff sitting out too and I definitely don't have the room to keep this inside. And I really don't want to leave it outside for the rest of its life and it rot down to nothing. So I'd rather somebody get it, use it, whatever. It's ready to be sent down the road, guys. Say goodbye. Bye, Mr. Haybine. Just a little tidbit of information. Just in case somebody needs it. Uh, I don't really expect this video that I'm making to get very many views. But uh, I know I've been around people that had issues with folding one up. 
didn't go through the right order of steps. So I just thought I'd throw this out there. Maybe somebody will need it. Maybe it'll help somebody one day. Hopefully it helps you. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.